Hi. Um, let's have a look at this Power Automate uh, community thread. Uh, it's about asking uh, how to delete a worksheet. Okay. Uh, so here is my Excel sheet. As you can see here, I have got uh, sheet 1 and sheet 2. Suppose I want to delete sheet 2 actually. Okay, let's go back to Power Automate. So for this, I'm going to use a manual trigger flow. Uh, then the Excel online uh, connector I'm going to use. List rows. Okay, and uh, let's see what we can get. So there is nothing there called delete under that. It's list is means it's, go, it's going to list. And also if I look the other one, other action steps, delete a row. Uh, so if I filter by delete, that's the only thing you can do then. So it's not possible to delete using the Excel connector. But there is another way to delete this. The other way to delete this is, is the Office, uh, the Graph API. So if you look for Office 365 groups, there is a new action step called um, send an HTTP request. It's still under preview. I have used personally a couple of times and it worked all the time actually. Now, um, to, get, to get all the, the values of all the files from the OneDrive, uh, we need to give this um, rust api endpoint uh, me slash drive slash root slash children okay and um, i'm going to call this as graph api delete worksheet okay let's save that okay just quickly test this and see what we are going to get here Right, here it is. Um, so I can see here, you know, I got, got a lot of records here. And um, I'm going to uh, take these results under the show row outputs. Select all that and copy the whole value there. Going to an online viewer for the past data, past JSON one. And uh, just click on the viewer. You can see here. I can see all the files under my OneDrive, uh, but it's not the best efficient way to get the record then. Um, so ideally what we want is, uh, we want to filter this. So what you need to do here is a dollar filter equals name is equal to, then the file name of file or file name, uh, what you're after. Uh, so that is th this, okay. And then um, the new step, I'm going to add a compose here. Uh, this compose is quite good for mainly for debugging purpose. And you can see, you know, a bit more details if you add the body hole in a compose. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good efficient uh, step always in flow to use the compose. Right, you can see under the compose, I got the output. So let's take that output and go back to the past JSON viewer. And to paste that and see, hopefully I should only have one record now. Here we got only one record. And uh, here you should be able to see name is equal to sports.xlsx. Okay. But what I'm after is I'm after this ID here. See this ID. Once we know the ID, then it's then it's easy to find the related um, worksheet to delete. Uh, you know, that's what I'm after. Okay. So to do that, again, go back to the edit. New step. And here you can do a pass a JSON. You can do without pass JSON also because you only got one value. You can put the index and get the value out. But uh, I'm just for this demo purpose, I'm not going to complicate that. I'm just going to show the normal way of doing the things. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, the content is going to be the body of the previous step. Uh, so I can delete this combos now then. I don't need that. So that's the body of the previous step click uh, generate from sample and uh, we know the schema which i copied from the you know, combos uh, you know result earlier so that's the one and uh, click done and uh, the next step i'm going to add another compose and uh, you search for the id 
that are called out of IDs here, search, uh, get the very first one, first ID. It's going to put apply to each loop because, um, you know, this request is going to uh, get us in an array format. That's the reason. We know it's only going to be one record only. So it should be fine. Now, just test this again. Okay, flow ran successfully and I can see the ID. So let's copy this ID, go back to this and uh, uh, let's uh, see that ID is matching or not here. Here we go, that ID is matching there. So that's ID I'm after now, okay. Right, next step is I need to delete the worksheet. So to delete the worksheet, I'm going to utilize again the uh, Office 365 connector again the office 365 groups connector send and HTTP preview and uh, if you want you know you can rename this to say rename and say delete uh, worksheet it's probably the best practice always to do something like that okay and then uh, here for the delete or delete uh, what we want is we want this URL here uh, that is slash me drive slash item slash uh, the output I need to map. Uh, okay, just go back and map the output. This is the output that's the ID of the record or you can directly map the ID here. See that ID we mapped earlier. So that's the first one here, the first ID or the combos output, which are, which are the one you want to map, you can map when I essentially the combos contains that ID anyway. So um, that ID slash worksheet, workbook slash worksheet slash sheet two see that so let's go back to my um, excel sheet you can see sheet 2 here that's what i'm after that's when i want to delete it and for that operation all you need is select now is the delete operation okay once it's done uh, you can test uh, the flow now and see whether it's going to get deleted or not Okay, it ran successfully. You can see it got the ID and uh, for the delete one, it passed the ID there. See that ID has been passed. That's the ID of that Excel sheet. Then the workbook worksheet slash the name of the worksheet. If you if you know the ID of the sheet, there is another way you can get also. I'm not going to go into, go into that detail. This is probably the simplest way of deleting that. So just pass that um, uh, name of the uh, sheet. Okay, let's go back to my um, Excel sheet. It should only have one sheet now. Sheet one, sheet two is deleted now. So that means that flow what we ran is successfully uh, worked. So what we learned from here is um, there is no um, uh, Excel connected to delete the um, the worksheets, whereas you can utilize the Graph API to delete the worksheet from uh, from an excel sheet excel sheet okay so hopefully uh, you know this is uh, a good tutorial tutorial to understand how you can utilize the graph apis um, thank you very much for watching the video